Time for some more level 10s. Level 10s could be a little intense, but ha ha ha. What an April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day to y'all, Shadow Fighters, and welcome back to another Shadow Fight Arena video by Boston Modern. And today we're going to be spending our time getting ourselves a new level 10 character. Things haven't gone steady with the internet yesterday, therefore, I could have considered a Shadow Fight 3 upload, but was actually planning a Shadow Fight Arena upload. But here we are! With this Shadow Fight Arena upload that I'm trying out at least to see if it actually works. For today's character at level 10, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, we're upgrading our dude Jack Bulwark. And reason? Well, it's not because I'm looking at everybody else's opinions about him. It's my own opinion because everybody is fun to play as when you actually get the when you actually know what you can do with the character, all the tricks and techniques you can do with the character. So. For the level 10 Jack Bulwark, we're going to be choosing, well, we have Fortress of the Legion or Soul Fortress. With Fortress of the Legion, he kind of acts like Azuma whenever he triggers the Fortress himself. Or he could go Assault Fortress to where the Fortress activates whenever he enters Shadow Form. So he can go in all out offensive while simultaneously activating Shadow Form if he tries to do a chain of attacks for instance. That could give him an invulnerability in some way. As we have already known, as I already know pretty well, Legionnaires in this game have several defense and invulnerability factors that help them throughout the battles. Not only the TOI that have been carried over to Shadow Fight Arena, but also more defensive factors for them. So what should I really use? I could go Assault, or I could do the Fortress of the Legion. Again, I told the advantages of this, not the disadvantages. Yeah, sounds like too optimistic when I only see the advantages, but here we are. So, what would be most convenient for me? I say Assault Fortress. But that would also, the only disadvantage I can mention right here, right away is, if I don't have Shuttle Form, then I could not use this technique to actually counteract. If I have, if Chong goes to Shadow Form before me, then I wouldn't have the Shadow Assault Fortress. I have to wait for the Shadow Bar to be filled while the opponent uses it. I can use it to counteract them with just bare physical attacks. So yeah. So we have only been choosing right pips for Jack. And let's see what kind of level team, level 10 team can we compose for today, or we can even combine with some level nines. But now we're actually starting to have more characters going on to level 10, which is good news. Of course it is. It is neat to actually have people at level 10. So we can choose Jack in there. And we did jet. Don't know if we did jet in another video, but I would go for a little bit more Sarge and Yuka for this one right here. So maybe we want to do something else for Sarge other than old school build, even though old school build is going to, it's like the most convenient build for me. And if you guys want to check it out, it is consisting of all of the ways you can knock down your opponent, including a stun factor and more damage whenever the opponent is knocked down. Not just the basic damage, but a little bit more damage to trigger more will destruction and more damage. And also revenge for the fallen, including all the ways that I can knock them down. I have the cape perk, you can say, but uh, in Sarge way, where he can insta-KO the opponent with a knockdown whenever the opponent is lower than 30% health. So with that being said, I'm not gonna choose... I'm not gonna choose Sarge as the first character, and I'm not sure, I, I, because my main focus is gonna be Jack Bulwark and see what I can do with him. There was also another reason to why I want to choose Jack Bulwark is to see if I can actually trigger more of these taunts right here, especially the Let's Dance taunt. Well, it's kind of like Boss the Modern wants to just go ahead and dance and fling around with a flailing shield. Well, that being said, let's see right here. And also, Yuka, we, I don't think I'm going to be focusing on different kinds of perks this video because I'm more, more focusing on Jack Bulwark himself for this very video right here and then we can continue to something else right afterwards so without anything to say let's see how well we can fit session fly 31 
Right, I've faced that sucker before, man. Several times. Some wins, some losses. I mean, who said that they're gonna be winning all the time either way? Looks like Sucker B also using Azuma. Both of the shadow abilities. Probably to try and run me over, but let's see how well we can play with Jack in the first round for this video moment right here. Let's see, dude. Let's see what this Azuma Felcher can do. He can duck, huh? What about if I do this and then do this? What are you doing? You gotta do something, Sucker. You gotta do something. Yeah, do something, my dude. Can't be waiting all day, mister. I just gotta go at you. Come on, go at me. Go at me, dude. Go at me. You gotta try to go at me, man. Freak is this? Wow, now we actually managed to hit. Oh my goodness, look at that. Just trying to catch a guess on me. Oh. Actually, that should do the work right there. Oh. Wait a little bit. I'm honestly, why can I just not do what I'm doing with Jack Boar right here? Literally have guessed correctly with two of the moves. That was so much I could do with Jack. Thank you, man, Mr. Touchfly. All right, trying to pull out some other legendary guns right here, shall we? I haven't even obtained skin from the last season. I know we have the brand new season of Liquidator Kate, and what I have to say is, she kind of looks like I want to be punk with that hairstyle. You wanna go, dude? Really wait for those attacks, dude. What are you, man? What are you? Alright, so he thinks he can follow up. Yeah, I could definitely follow quite a lot up. Oh, come on, man. That could have actually been something, not gonna lie. And he's gonna combo with that. I already know for sure. Look at that. We ain't playing games here. Look at that. Alright. I cannot even do that, are you joking me? Alright, I'm pressing the wrong button, even. Ooh, yeah. Huh. Even though I have dealt with many Asumas, his way of playing Asuma turned out to be harder than what I expected right there. Well, so much for that story, you're gonna be continuing playing either way. Well, well. I guess that was fairly well played with him. Let's see what he does right there. Is he really that eager to try to do the heavy? Nah, man. And look at that cheesy mean kick that I did right there. Look at that mean kick. Alright, let's wait a little bit. Hope that she doesn't get a block break because if she got a block break right there, that would be a little bit silly. So I'm not going to be going for that. And we're knocking her down again. So we're going to just trigger this. And see who's the other red eye win right there, dude. Yep. Looks like the sucker wasn't going off that easy either. Even though I lost my jack and I tried to focus my video on jack. Well... That was sad that I didn't do a lot with Jack, thanks to the Suzuma, but looks like we got a lot of Sarge techniques going on right here. Alright, so you gotta walk back or no? Oh, Christ. Looks like I lost my Sarge right there. Well, 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 well. I try to catch him on those moments because I know for a fact, after fighting a lot of people, when usually when I keep walking towards them, they might try. They might do a try onto dashing towards or grabbing me or anything within those lines. Oh, look at that. We're doing counter-attacks, dude. We're doing counter-attacks. Oh, that all oh, actually didn't catch. Alright, nice. Uh, uh oh. Never mind. Alright. Dang it, man. Yep. That was fine. Looks like we're starting off with a uh, one character defeat. Well, he was actually 200 trophies below, but dang it, man, I didn't even do a lot of jack, honestly. Could have actually interrupted with a cat. Didn't know exactly if I had it. Well, well. Snata. Right. Who's Japo actually managed to think? Oh, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and plug in into European servers. I mean, he might have been living in Europe, who knows? I know at least one person has been like that. Right, let's see, let's see, dude. Let's see what Hinata can do. Huh, looks like you didn't take the bullet. Right then, at least you know how to unfinish some attacks. Nice try there, not happening. Yeah, I can keep you tense, dude. I can keep you tense. What are you trying? It's my new, new tactic right there to just keep the opponents at their own pace. 
Oh, look at that. And I've already dealt a lot of damage to him, even though he might be able to counterattack. Seeing you're finishing too off, too often, like they're not finishing too often, makes me just feel like you're just more and more predictable. And this is how you use his Assault Fortress. This is how you use the Assault Fortress. Just like that. It easily can take away... Oh wait, he's gonna go around. Dang it. He's gonna get a lot of damage. My goodness. Alright. Dang it. This ain't looking good. Alright, let's try again. Ah, uh, nope. I failed, dang it. Alright, I should have done an attack before doing Jack. And that was another short story with Jack. So now I gotta go to a person who doesn't need extra button tapping to evade Helg's, Helga's smite right there. Right then. Because uh, as you guys saw right there, when I actually did it correctly to begin with, I avoided damage. What are you thinking? Yeah. You're going down, miss! Man! Look at this sucker be doing his stuff. Look, he's gonna be jumping again, huh? What are you doing, miss? Alright, let's see right there. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, look at that. You're not gonna go off that easy. Alright. Take her out right there. Because I just saw the moment that he jumped. He landed, he landed just before me and I was thinking, well, let's actually go ahead and smash this guy. I'm trying to catch the moments where the opponent thinks he can try to do the next move. That's where you gotta be trying to catch the opponents nowadays like this. Alright, let's see how well it plays Sarge though. Alright. You pull me out short with the... Uh, Jack Bull right there? Alright. You can always do it again. Yeah. What? That made nonsense. Alright. And Sucker still keeps hitting. Like, what is this? What is this, man? The Sucker still hits. Alright. Look. You gotta jump. And then... Catch this guy. Okay. Okay, he still managed to throw me. God. He actually, he actually can play a little bit. Alright. Oh, that would be a perfect moment of jumping. Yes, sir. Look at that. There we go. Now we're knocking him out. And we lost a Sarge. Thanks to Lag. Thank you, Lag. Thank you, Lag, for giving him another victory, man. I could have literally invaded that. I could have literally invaded that. If it wasn't for internet shopping up, man. Goodness gracious. At least the fight could have been a, at least a little bit more exciting if it wasn't for the internet. How is still dodging that? Oh Christ, I'm actually doing a lot of errors. Oh. No, 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 no. Get back. And I cannot do anything. Yep. Thank goodness, man. My internet says no. And now it gets back. There. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that. <laughs> Gotta read the playbook a little bit. Alright. Let's see what you can do. Not happening. Take the cat. There we go. Still goes for that, huh? Man, I might be losing again. Never mind. Yep, looks like I lost again. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for actually watching me lose. <laughs> My goodness, man. From internet shopping up to to whatever tactics that already failed. My goodness, man. I thought I thought this was actually going to be more interesting, but as internet chopped up, yep. That definitely didn't go well and actually gave away all the show to Inata right there. Well, well, I guess well played, even though I could have actually gone somewhere better if it wasn't for any interruptions with my games. Denix69. What a great number, my dude. All right. Looking at your set of uh, heroes, or should I say, yeah, characters, they're deadly. Well, they all are in Shadow Fight Arena either way. It's like he starts going off with the one and only Brazilian Ninja. Alright? You don't need to question why. You can try to think out yourself for a little bit, and then question later. Ooh. 
What are you doing, Denix? What are you doing? I can do anything. Just like you do. Oh, look at that. I thought that invulnerability was gonna do something. And this is how we catch him. No? Alright. This is how we catch him, my dudes. Alright, alright, alright. Look at me go, look at me go. Yoink that damage. Look at Jack go now. Look at Jack go. Actually, I could have done the done the Tawny right there to begin with. That would be a nice decor to the battle. But hey. We managed to eliminate level 8 Lynx. Well, poor Lynx actually because he was two levels below me. Also kind of poor me for actually losing twice for this moment right here. Alright, let's see how well he plays Sarge. We definitely know that stuff. So I'm well aware with that. Uh, immediately react. Oop. Fire gun. That's how we do it. Oh, look! Look how we go! Alright, he'll be rolling back for 27 days! Dude, what are you doing? Alright, let's see what I can do. I can always... No? Never mind. I need to f f find a way to actually take him out with the Shadow Fortress right here. Look at that. Look at how we steadily get him. Alright. Alright, what are you doing? Look at how we're actually getting him though. Just gotta stall your shadow ability activation. And we're on to him. Now this has been the more splendid Jack gameplay. And why are you surrendering? Well, 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 well. Looks like I just completely overpowered him with Jack right there, but I'm... I, I hoped I was gonna be fighting Cake, my dude. Maybe you could have done the 1v3 combat. That happens rarely, though, <laughs> in reality of Shadow Fight Arena. But hey, there's always a chance for a little bit of a moment entertainment right there. I would have liked the fourth battle, but, I, but this turned out to be at least not like one character surrendering or anything. This was actually a little bit more proper battle, although I wouldn't say a fully proper battle. Why do you have to surrender, Denix? We could have actually got, gotten a little bit more entertainment with me fighting against Kate using Jack Bulwark. And sadly, haven't been using the Let's Dance emote at all. So maybe next time, whenever the opponent does social distancing, I might head over and swing the flail with the Let's Dance emote. So other than that guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video, this video right here with the level 10 Jack Bulwark and how he actually managed to outplay this player along with the other battles that kind of failed, but it actually did something I guess. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button to share the support and if you're new and enjoy my overall content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll become a part of the Boston Modern community where you're going to be continuing leveling up some of our fellas to level 10 and also going to be performing that event. That's probably the only spoiler I give for now. So until then guys, I'll catch you guys in another one.